I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to balance equations with positive and negative integers and fractions. Now, there's a lot of things in there, and uh, you can do that assuming you have positive and negative integers and fractions involved. But the important thing is, as long as you understand the steps on how to solve equations and understand that you have to balance it by you know, doing the same appropriate operation on both sides, you'll be good to go. So here's a hypothetical equation to kind of get you uh, going on this. Suppose you have 1 half x minus 4 plus 11 equals 2, let's just say 3 halves. Now, the one thing that you want to think about is when it comes to balancing equations, you want to get rid of the fractions first since that tends to be the most difficult component. So in this case, what you want to think about is to get rid of the fractions, you want to think about the least common denominator and then you want to clear the fraction out. In this case, the LCD is 2, so you're going to balance it by multiplying everything by 2. So the 2's here cancel, you're left with x minus, you have 2 times 4 is 8, plus 2 times 11 is 22, and then 2 times 3 halves, the 2's cancel, so you're left with 3. Now, what you're going to do after that is negative 8 and plus 22 are integers. Negative 8 is negative, 20 plus 22 is positive. So what you can do if you like, you can combine like terms. You have negative 8 plus 22 is going to be positive 14 and that's going to equal to 3. So positive 14, you have a positive integer. And then to solve for x completely, you want to balance by subtracting 14 on both sides. And you have x, 14, minus 14 are gone. And then 3 minus 14 is negative 11. So when it comes to solving equations, you can balance using positive and negative integers and fractions, but assuming that all of them are present to begin with. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's an illustration on how to balance equations using positive and negative integers and fractions.